This is Jeff with Shout Out Minnesota, and we are here with uh, Cody from Hinder. Cody, and Mike, Mike, bass player. All yeah. right, Mike. All right. Uh, so here we are. We're in Fridley, Minnesota, uh, at the park tonight. Uh, you guys are on tour, uh, expecting a huge turnout tonight. Uh, place to be packed. It should be with you guys. So, uh, let's just talk a little bit about the tour and uh, where you guys are coming from and where you're headed and that sort of thing. Um, we have been uh, mostly uh, up the, uh, the East Coast and Northeast. Um, started the tour and had a, a band called Revolve um, within reason and Shaman's Harvest uh, with us through the majority of it. And then recently um, a couple of those bands left and a band called Ages Apart came on. Uh, within reason is still on. And uh, Sons, Sons of Texas recently joined up. So uh, it's, been, uh, it's been awesome so far, man. Okay. So, All right. Uh, now this tour, actually, was this is part of the tour that uh, was in November that you guys had to postpone for a little bit. Uh, I, I like to talk about that because that was kind of a a weird thing that happened. But um, the bus accident that happened in, in November, uh, I remember you guys tweeting it out and the pictures and stuff like that. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. Basically, we were we were headed out to our our first show, which was uh, going to be in North Carolina, I believe, and. Uh, got right outside of Nashville and it was really raining and uh, there was a semi jackknife across the highway and uh, we came around the corner the driver couldn't stop so uh, the only option was to barrel into the back of it really pretty much so um, yeah man it was a, it was a very very scary thing uh, Mike here broke a couple ribs um, our lighting guy that sucked <laughs> Uh, our lighting guy broke some ribs. Uh, driver was was hurt pretty bad, uh, but everybody's here. We uh, we all made okay. it, so uh, good, we're ready to kind of move forward. Well, that, that's important. So everybody's healthy and uh, back at it, and you guys are touring. Uh, let's talk about your latest album that uh, you guys have out. Uh, if you want to say a few words about that and what it's yeah. about. Yeah, the the latest album's called When the Smoke Clears. Um, Produced by um, our new singer Marshall Dunn and myself, uh, recorded in Oklahoma City. So um, I don't know. I think it's just um, it's more of a straightforward rock record um, than some of the you know previous albums that we've done. Um, a little closer maybe to the first album. Okay. Um, of course, we're always known for like our our ballads, our crossover material. So there definitely is some of that. Um, I think there's kind of something for everyone, but for the most part. Uh, Straightforward rock album. Okay, uh, how many of, how many singles have been released off that? Uh, we've only done two official two, singles. Two official. Um, but we uh, we did a video for a third song called "Wasted Life," um, okay. where we just compiled a bunch of footage from our European tour and, okay. uh, and put it all together and made a video out of it. So it's pretty cool. All right, great. Um, I want to pan over here to uh, to Mike here about the the drum head here. He's uh, He's very creative here on, on this. He's he's got a lot of uh, different drum heads he was showing us earlier here on uh, some the of the ones he's created. So uh, tonight it's uh, for the merch table is the Octopi. Um, how long have you been been drawing? I went to college for four years for uh, graphic design before I joined this band, and uh, yeah, I've been doing art forever, but uh, just kind of started getting into the drum heads over the last year. Because I've been too drunk and stupid <laughs> for the previous, like, ten. Just lay in bed all day. Yeah. But, you know, now I've slowed down because I'm getting old. <laughs> Got to do something. So I'm trying to make some money, make some drum heads, throw it out there. Like we it. all sign it, give the fans something cool to take home. So, very cool, very cool. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you guys, uh, how's your interaction with, with the fans? Uh, I've heard a lot of people uh, through social media saying it was nice to meet you, signing autographs, taking pictures, that sort of thing. How important is it to you to, to meet your fans? I mean, it's pretty much everything. I mean, obviously, that's that's the reason why we why we do this. You know, um, you know, we 
we even do it in our writing. You know, we try to try to write songs that connect with people, that'll that'll mean something to people. Um, and then obviously when we get to come out on tour, it's just I don't know. It's it's awesome to, to get to sit down with people that have you know been fans for a long time and have you know listened to to your music. And 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 now we've been around so long that people are kind of passing some of that down to their kids. You know, it's kind of cool to to meet people that. Um, you know, are bringing their kids to shows now, so uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it like 15 years now? Yeah. Well, I mean, we started the band in 2001, but uh, we've been touring since about 2004, 2005. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, obviously, um, um, I, I wanted to get into this a little bit, but um, um, it, it's becoming. Uh, it seems like it's becoming more common for for bands to part ways with members and stuff. Um, I've seen that over the last couple uh, of years on a few different bands. Um, how do you guys? How are you guys dealing with that? Because everybody deals with it differently. Um, I mean, there's really no way you you can deal with it. You just kind of, you know, you have to do what you have to do to to be able to continue. You know, if if that's what you want to do. Um, and for us, that that was the case. So. Um, luckily, you know, Marshall came on board and he was already part of the, the family, so yeah. um, it's, it's, it's been really easy for us. It's actually made things uh, a lot easier and uh, we're able to create music faster, so it's, it's, it's been great. Good, good. Uh, it seems like it's going well. Um, uh, it seems like everything's going well as far as, as the music and as far as uh, uh, you guys getting along and, and uh, pushing on with the band, which is uh, very important. I know a lot of fans want that from you guys. Um, uh, Hinder Music, it's it's been pretty pretty good for the last few years, so um, uh, it's well, done really well. That's the thing about us is we've always been, you know, um, the, the, the core of the band has always been uh, very strong. You know, we're, we're really tight. We're great friends, always have been. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't see that changing. So, um, you know, bringing Marshall into the fold was just, I mean, he's, he's been one of us for, for so long that it just, it was the only thing to do. So Right, right. Great. Uh, tell us something that, uh, to the fans that they don't know about you guys. Wow. I don't know. We're, we're pretty, pretty transparent. <laughs> um... Something. All right. This is the first tour and clump of shows that I have not touched a drop of vodka or any other kind of booze. There you go. I'm sober as a judge. As you can see, I have to fill my time with something <laughs> or I'll be drinking. There's something nobody knows. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, anything? No, that, that, was, that was a good one. Oh. Yeah, All I, right. I, I think... Uh, kind of put everything about ourselves out there for people to know so all right you know. got a, a certain song you is it, it's a favorite that you like to play during your shows um i don't know if it's one of my favorites to play but one of my favorites we do play off the new album um it's that song that i mentioned earlier uh called wasted life yeah. um i think that's a cool cool song it's got you know like that big anthemic hook and and uh uh, lyrically, I think a lot of people can relate to it. So, um, there's another song that that we do not play live um, that I think people should check out uh, called "If Only for Tonight." Um, it's kind of a kind of a song for the ladies. All right. So it's a, there you go. It's a pretty cool song. Though. All right. Well, uh, I want to wrap it up here. I know you guys uh, got a busy night ahead and uh, looking forward to it. But um, I would like to ask, what uh, social media outlets do you guys connect with your fans with? Uh, we do all of them: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and they're all Hinder Music. So, Hinder Music. Yeah. It's that simple. It's that simple. And you can connect. There you go. All right. Uh, about ready to wrap it up here. Uh, one last shout out to the Hinder fans of Minnesota. Yeah, man. See you guys tonight. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Uh, you guys mean the world to us. So thanks. All right. Final word. Keep rocking out. New stuff to come soon. <laughs>